Hi, my name is Ryan Tucker, graduate of Sullivan University and chef representative. And today I'm going to talk to you about doing a stuffed acorn squash for your Thanksgiving meal. First thing we'll do is brown off the turkey. I've got melted butter, garlic, a little bit of sage to go in the turkey to give it a little extra flavor. And we're gonna stuff this acorn squash today with, it's a spicy turkey sausage. So we'll have onions, celery, apples, um, a few ingredients, a few spices I, I like, like cayenne pepper, allspice, and fresh thyme, and some sage. So essentially we're making a turkey meatball. All right, so now that we have our turkey browned off, I'm just gonna remove it from the pan, drain off some of the fat. We wanna save some of the fat from the turkey and the butter in the pan to help cook the rest of our ingredients. All right, so now we got that draining. We'll set that to the side. And we'll saute some onions. Celery. And what I like to do is add the dry herbs while the vegetables are cooking. It really helps bring out the flavor. So we got some cayenne, some allspice, and dried thyme. And while those are cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and get the acorn squash prepped. So what you do is, you'll just cut it in half, lengthwise, and then you wanna scoop the seeds out. It's almost like scooping out the seeds of a pumpkin And I've got melted butter, garlic, sage, and salt. We're gonna brush the acorn squash with that before we roast it. And you wanna set your oven at 400 degrees, and these are gonna roast for about 45 minutes to an hour. All right, so I've got the acorn squash buttered and ready to go in the oven. So put those on a tray. And we're gonna roast these off in the oven and then stuff them when they're ready. This is one of my favorite apples. This is a honey crisp apple. They, to me, they have the most natural apple flavor and they're also used to make uh, apple cider as well. We're just going to let the apples cook for maybe two minutes. We don't want them to turn to mush. We still want them to have that crisp texture to them. All right, so got the turkey browned off. It's drained, so I'll go ahead and put that in the bowl that to the side. I've got panko breadcrumbs, unseasoned breadcrumbs. A couple of eggs. The eggs and the breadcrumbs are really gonna help bind everything together. Fresh chopped flat leaf parsley.
and then we'll add in our onions, celery, and apples. Now we just want to mix this until it's combined really well. So now that our acorn squash are ready, we'll go ahead and stuff these with a turkey stuffing. You want it to be pretty full. You want it to kind of be heaping over the edges a little. Make sure it's packed in really well. And then I've got some nice Pecorino uh, Romano cheese to shred over it. And since our turkey is cooked completely and the acorn squash is, has been roasted, we're gonna put this back in the oven for about 20 minutes just to get the egg cooked and for it to set and for the cheese to melt and be nice and brown. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get our acorn squash out of the oven. It's been about 20 minutes. They should be nice and brown by now. So they're looking good, they're smelling good. Nice and steamy. The Romano cheese has a great fragrance to it. It's really coming through. And there we have it. Spicy turkey stuffed acorn squash. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Thanks guys.